Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we will see how to connect uh, Zoom with Salesforce Marketing Cloud um, and we will use a webhook for that. So let me just show you how we can create uh, first everything we need into uh, Zoom. So you click on App Marketplace and then you can click on Develop Build App. So once you land here, you will be able uh, to create your own app. So this is the one that I've created and we will see together uh, how to create it. So you can give it a name, you fill out the information, description, company name, developer information as well. You can click on continue. And here uh, you have something that is interesting. It's your secret token. So your secret token will be the information that you are using to make a check uh, when you receive information in Marketing Cloud, so in Marketing Cloud, in your code, you will say, okay, this string equals this string. So I know that the information that I receive is from uh, Zoom and I accept the information. Otherwise, I will decline. After that, you have uh, event subscription. So this is really important. It will be what kind of event do you want to get? In my case, I will take all the people that are joining a meeting. I want to create a new record in a marketing cloud data extension. So I just click meeting and I select that one. And there is something else that is quite important is your uh, notification URL endpoint. So this uh, will allow us to come to uh, marketing cloud and I will explain you that. So basically this is a file that we are creating we go in cloud page and we create um, uh, a snippet code. And this snippet code, it's a JSON. And in, into that, we will uh, create um, a, an SSGS uh, piece of code to get the data and parse it from uh, Zoom. And basically here, once we publish our page, we will copy that and we will come uh, uh, into here. So uh, we will come into just here to specify it into Zoom. Okay, so what do we find? I will, I will go quickly through it, but I think it's important to explain what do we write uh, in this code. Uh, so basically what we do is we do a get of the data and we collect uh, the JSON from uh, Zoom. So Zoom will send to this URL endpoint a JSON uh, uh, information, and us, we will collect this JSON information and store it into a variable that will be JSON STR. Then we have two actions. The first action is that we will um, insert all the log, we will have a data extension where we will insert all the log uh, related to the Zoom activity. So every time Zoom send something to this URL endpoint, we will collect it into a Salesforce Marketing Cloud data extension and we will collect three fields, the data, so it will be a string, and of header, so this will be like the security code uh, that I mentioned just before and the date, so when do we receive this data? And basically here, as you can see, we will have some information. Um, and then we have the next step that is the most important step. So when we receive the log, it's basically the raw data. We only receive a, a JSON string that contains so many information, but us, we are only interested into a few pieces of information and for doing that, for that, we will pass the JSON string, like the JSON, uh, by mentioning to Marketing Cloud uh, a few variables. So we will create a few variables, for example, UID, username, and uh, meeting topic. And then we will say to Marketing Cloud, oh, okay, find the information related uh, by going through uh, like the JSON uh, that we are receiving and collecting the variable that we need. So for example, username, 
email uh, topic. And uh, for that, uh, I will just show you um, like um, like the, the the documentation. I will say Zoom documentation uh, meeting. And I hope I will find it quite quickly. But basically, yes, it's here. Meeting participant join. So here I can get all the information that I need related to this event. And I can also click on example. And here I have, uh, for example, like I, I know how to access it. For example, as you can see, here we go to uh, JSON. So we will go JSON and then we go to payload. Then we go to uh, participant, and within participant, we will be able to uh, find the ID. So I will take ID, and here I know that is a string. So that's the way to access a specific variable within the JSON that you will receive from Zoom. Uh, and once you do that, after you create a new data extension, and you will use the insert data function. And for that, um, as you can see, you will use a new data extension. And you will basically just mention the field that you want to receive information from. And here you will say, uh, so you specify the data extension here. And you write the uh, field of your data extension. And then the variable that are in this um in this file in this json uh, snippet of code and then you have a try catch where you will also write the log when it's not working uh accordingly so let me just save it and publishing it so now that it's published uh if uh i go into uh, uh zoom so I will just uh, check to start this meeting. And then I will click open in Zoom. And I will have, I will, I will just join a meeting as a host. It's, it's just a basic meeting that has is scheduled. And I will see uh, like the information within Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So the app Zoom take a while to 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 launch up ah, it's launching so i will just uh wait that up and i will click click with computer audio so i'm joining the meeting i'm ending it tac not now and then if i click here tac i should receive the information one and one so Let's have a look. So as you can see in my record here, I capture um, like the, the raw JSON from Zoom, that Zoom is sending this to me in Marketing Cloud. I also have my uh, authentication header. So this is the key security key um, that you can do a check on to make sure you receive data from uh, this, specific uh, Zoom app, and you have the date that is auto-populated. And after that, within uh, the other data extension, Zoom subscriber, then I have one record, and I will receive the re registrant ID, the user ID, the username, so my name, my, e my email address, and the topic of the meeting. And all of that has been uh, specify in this file. So if I want 10 more fields, I can easily uh, write more um, variable and ask uh, ask Marketing Cloud to collect this more this new other variable. But the ID is here, and I didn't find that many documentation uh, on internet on how to do it. So it's pretty straightforward. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.